my question to you guys, who is your favorite Hokage? I, I think I know already know who Mellows is, but out of all the Hokages, who is your favorite? I'd probably have to go with Kakashi. There was the most progress under Kakashi. If there was like a, a bad actor as Hokage, I don't necessarily think that, well, as six Hokage specifically, I don't necessarily think Peace would have came as easily as it did. So he'd probably have to be my, be my number one. Hmm. What about you, Melo? I, I, I thought you was going to say Kakashi as well. That's why I said I pretty much know who yours is. I would probably go with Hiruzen. Okay. Most likely. Why? Um, mostly because um, the Naruto series started off with Hiruzen. Nice. Um, and a lot of the um, the stuff that happened in the series, like the Wheel of Fire, of course that came from like um, Hashirama, but mm -hmm. um, you, you heard it first from Hiruzen and like right. the whole Donzo stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a lot of stories to be told there with Hiruzen. So I think he has the, his, his era is the most interesting as it pertains to like storytelling for me. Just the, the, just to get into like the ninja stuff, not the otherworldly godly stuff, just shinobi shit, <clears throat> Hiruzen for sure. Okay. Mine's is probably going to be that out of the out of the box one like probably y'all probably not even going to agree with me on this one but Tsunade is actually my favorite Hokage. I mean she fine. That's not the reason why she's my favorite Hokage <laughs> man. Hey yo no. <laughs> I mean you know. Yo is this because of the like the so time that she took over as Hokage like it was so hectic and everything was going on like I think she had the like the one of the the toughest times as Hokage and she persevered so that's why I like I like Tsunade and she finally retired and said yo Kakashi, get in the Hokage <laughs> office, bro. <laughs> Yo, I think, I think Tsunade was a really good Hokage, all things considered. Mm -hmm. And like, like the way she held down against Madara, like exactly. in, in the Ninja War, right. that was elite. So yeah, no, yeah, definitely. Tsunade's yeah. dope. And she was still yeah, Lord, Hokage at that part and that point too. So that's I think, why I always give her. I think lore wise, she was an awful Hokage. Like I think she had like a um, gambling issue or like her time management. Some, something well, Hashirama really had a uh, Hashirama was a gambler too. That's where she got it from. If y'all remember that, yeah, she inherited yeah, that from true. Hashirama. So <laughs> you got to yeah, blame that on Hashirama, bro. <laughs> yeah, but um, no, no. I think Lorewaj like um, mm -hmm. she has some issues with gambling or something that um, Naruto wanted her out as Hokage or, or confronted her or something like that. And was that, that like, what it was? She took over when he did. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that's what it was. Okay, interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she, so as Hokage, she was actually kind of bad, but she did have some bad ass moments while acting as Hokage, which is kind of similar, but mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Shout out to my guy Boards for Debates five dollar donation. He says Minato is the best Hokage. Left the nine tails in Naruto, which saved the world. Fact. That was an awful choice, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why? It was, a, it was a split decision the moment though, so you got to give him that. I will say thank you so much for your donation, as always, my friend. Um, and and not your choice. The choice that Minato made was awful. Not not your choice. Your choice is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, no, just you don't give like this whole demon to your kid on the on the hopes that he's gonna become like the world savior. I mean, that's a that's a tall ask, bro. That's a tall ask. Yeah, um, uh, the thing is, I think that Minato overrated. Yeah, I think no, that, not even his son. I think he had too much faith in the third Hokage. He probably oh, thought that true. he should have steered Naruto right, and the mm -hmm. third Hokage just completely like, yo, it's, yo, whatever, whatever Naruto wants to do, bump it. Yeah. Just allow my guy to get bullied and everything, yeah. fester a bunch of evil hate in his heart. It's like, what, what are you there for, a third Hokage? Like, what if the third Hokage would have just like took it upon himself to like train Naruto? Like, how much more elite Naruto would have been if he would have actually had that type of guidance in his life? Like, he. Was pretty much running around by himself, bro. Like, so everything he taught himself, he had to teach himself. He didn't really have yeah. no teachers until he was in the actual academy and stuff like that. So I think if Huruzen would have took more of like a parental role over Naruto, but I think there was oh, a no. reason behind I... that. I think it was a reason yeah, behind I... that. I, don't, I, I just think that they didn't want um, them to know who Naruto actually was. So if Huruzen was playing a parent role to Naruto, they would know that it's something special about this kid. I think yeah um, yeah. No, I, was, I, I think um that would have been awful for Naruto. What's have Haruzen as a sensei? Absolutely. I, the absolutely. dude who knows all of chakra nature is like. Well, let me get bro, do you see how Konohamaru <laughs> turned out? Bro, stop <laughs> it, please. So like, so like number one, <laughs> that like, wasn't Naruto his sensei like, though. <laughs> Naruto would have been like super uppity, bro. Because like he yes, like he would have been trained by Hiruzen and he would have mm -hmm. been like super elite in the head of his class. Right. But that would have made him super cocky and arrogant. The same uh, thing that Itachi was talking saying. to him about mm -hmm. in um, the fourth grade ninja war. Um, you, you'll become powerful and then you'll become arrogant and then mm -hmm. you'll blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Um, that's number one. And then number two, 
um, because of he because of his arrogance, he would have never had that motivation and drive that he did that you know propel him throughout the entire um the, the entirety of the series. Um, so and, and even with that, like Donzo is forever a threat when it comes to like Hiruzen and Donzo. Um, this dude is always moving, and ultimately he wanted the Nine Tails. Like that was like his goal it was to capture the Nine Tails, um, and use it as a weapon. Um, he just never got around to doing it because um, Sasuke killed his ass. Um, so I think with Naruto being so close to Hiruzen, maybe that would have prevented something from happening with Naruto and, and Danzo. I mean, Danzo did at, wait for like almost uh, 17 years, um, 16 years really, to make his move. Um, so it depends on how he would have played out. But I, I just think it would have been a bad thing. Wait. I want to hear your take, Bar. Hold on. So Hiru Shout out to Kamui. He, he didn't leave a donation or anything, but he said Haruzen went out and watched Naruto with his crystal ball, but just ignored him otherwise. Yeah, he had a crystal ball. He had Naruto. a crystal ball? I don't yeah, know, I but I don't. That. That's crazy. Yeah, the reason why I don't necessarily respect that crystal ball is because Naruto was in multiple. Yeah, Naruto was in multiple life or death situations, and Haruzen didn't make an appearance at all. He, just he never cared. Like, he just like, yo, oh, Naruto's about to die. Hey. Yo, is it tea ready? Like something like that. Do you like think like, that he cool. actually cared about Naruto though? Like all jokes aside, like I, do you think that he actually cared about this kid? Oh yeah, he cared. Yeah, I, I think he was more. He, I think he felt more for Naruto because he lost his parents. He was like sad for him. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But it wasn't necessarily like he cared for him like a Konohamaru, like his own grandson. Mm -hmm. He was like, yo, if think, Naruto dies, Naruto dies. Yeah. I think he <laughs> was he dies, like. He um, dies. It's like the. It's kind of like how Naruto says the whole like the villagers are my family. Um, but meanwhile, like when his actual son dies, he like falls in the middle of battle and then like fails to stop the dude who could actually kill the villagers who he claims to be his family members. So it's like mm -hmm. he he likes them like he loves them in like concept or like in some abstract way. Like, I mean, basically, he's saying some shit that sound good. But when it comes time to like, you know, feed the kid and look after the kid and make sure he's not being ridiculed by the villagers that you govern over. He ain't doing shit, bro. It's all talk. It's all talk. Like, yeah, yeah. like a classical politician. But like it, a classical politician. <laughs> yeah, the reason why I like the reason why I like um Kakashi, I think one of the biggest things is like no major disaster happened under his watch. You see what I'm saying? Like it was all peace. Like first Hokage, like, let's keep it that was the whole the whole the whole mo the whole um moderate thing was like crazy. The second Hokage, the way he treated the Uchiha is like. The third Hokage, I don't even need to say it, say much. The, night, the, the <laughs> Obito attacked under me until like the fifth Hokage, Tsunade pain attacked. Like Kakashi was like the most cool and chill Hokage Hokage spot. Like well, wait, what, tenure. Well, two I should things say. about that. Well, one, there's like novel stuff that happened under his tenure, but it wasn't like anywhere near as devastating. But and two, mm -hmm. like that's the like Kakashi is my favorite character in the series, in the franchise, right? But. That's the reason why I don't like his tenure as Hokage because it's boring. It's boring in comparison. Like Hiruzen, there is some grime. Like Hiruzen was an awful Hokage. I'm sorry, bro. Like Danzo was holding. Like Danzo was doing the assassinations. Danzo was Danzo was out there. Danzo was effectively Hokage, but like he was a douche and nobody liked him, so he couldn't actually hold the title. But Danzo was out there. He's really important. Oh, I got I gotta ask you. Do you think?